Hello everybody, my name is Umbid. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are doing a texture pack review for Conquest. This is one of my personal favorite texture packs. And as you can see by this beautiful world that we're seeing here, it's really detailed. Look at the wood. They even added knots from for the occasional wood from time to time. And it's astonishing. Now, we're going to quickly review my house, quickly review my world, and then and then show you every single mob in the game. If it's possible. All under maybe 10 minutes, 20 minutes, who knows. There's a cow. There's a mushroom. There's some beautiful paintings all around. Such detail. I love this texture pack for that. Uh, there's a furnace. The UI in this. this look at, Just look at this. That is freaking beautiful, man. They could have just left it as the normal Minecraft UI. But the fact that they went above and beyond has set a big old set, like a big old stepping stone for me. A big old, like, minimum requirement for me. I believe there's a strider in here. Hello, Nanami. You're looking ever so disgusting in this texture pack. Now, quickly for the armor. Chainmail. My opinion, it's the nicest. Followed by iron. Fire, fire, followed by gold. Then diamond. And even though this is the strongest one in the game, I think it just looks like an ogre. So it's the ugliest. In terms of aesthetic, it is the ugliest. But that doesn't mean it doesn't look badass. There's a difference. It can look beautiful like this. But I'm pretty sure this is much more menacing. Now, anyways. Jenny the house. This is, I believe, Blackstone. I do not exactly remember. It's Deep Slate. I'm so sorry. I was wrong. One fun, one cool thing about the slabs is that if you put a slab together, they sometimes change the design. Here's a pig. Here's my storage system. It looks quite beautiful. One thing that they re that I really top them out for is changing the stone cutter's design because usually it's a modern saw blade. They chose to do a hammer. Which I believe is quite freaking beautiful, man. I'm trying to mimic or limit how much I actually do curse to avoid, you know, problems with YouTube. Because we all know how YouTube is. As we quickly hurry down here, this is what the rest of my world looks like. Every, every creature, I mean every villager, not a creature. Well, they might be creatures, they don't really have rights in this game. Looks like an Adam Sandler. They all look like Adam Sandler. I don't know why. But they're all unique in their own way. As we quickly hurry up, here's something that the Irish wish they had during the Irish famine. A bunch of potatoes. Look at this. Look at this beautiful, big old potato farm. It's so bloody beautiful, isn't it? Now, as we quickly hurry up, here's a little statue monolith made of diorite. Diorite, I think it looks the nicest in this texture pack compared to any other texture pack I've chosen. Quartz just looks like normal brick, but white. There's a little buck star because we can't afford Starbucks licensing. Now I will be showing you the mobs. Enjoy. At least the friendly mobs at the moment. So there's the chicken. There's the bee, there's the cow, there's the pig, there is the sheep, there is the shit. What comes after the sheep? Oh, I didn't put anything there. The wolf, the polar bear, the ocelot, the cat, the mushroom, the mushroom, the bat. The parrot, the bunnies. By the way, polar bear's the cutest. The llamas, the horse, le donkey, le mule, skeleton horse, zombie horse, pandas, and foxes. Look at those little cute fuckers. Again, cutest is most obviously going to be the polar bear. Maybe followed by the ch the bee. Actually, the bee. Look at his little cute little fat ass eyes. Yeah. Now for the enemy mobs. 
All right, now for all the hostile mobs, or at least all the mobs in order. Creeper, Silverfish, Skeleton, Wither Skeleton, Stray, which looks like that one guy from Game of Thrones, which I've not seen, so if you can correct me and tell me who that is, I would like that. Slime, Spider, look at that little pussy mouth. Zombie, Zombie Pigman, Husk, The Drowned. Cave Spider. Uh, turn around, please. The Witch. The Invisible Man. Magma Cube. The Strider. The disgusting piece of shit. Piglin. Zombie Piglin. Zombie Piglin Groot. Piglin. Piglin Brute. Before they're zombified. A goat, oxalotl, an ale, a toad, or frog, I believe. Blaze, shite, uh, vindicator, evoker, villager, zombie villager, Pil pillager, ravager. Yes. Now, hoglin. Zoglin, Warden, oh, it doesn't have anything, shocking, shocking, that is fucking terrifying, though, the Phantom, the Ghast, oh, look at that big old butthole, mm. a Shoker, and now for the aquatic animals, oh, shit, you're not there. Oh, yeah, and the Enderman. Forgot to mention those, but because that one, you know, teleported out of the freaking encagement. So he didn't want to be, you know, slavery, because nobody wants that. Nobody wants slavery. That should be a t-shirt. I'm going to get that done somewhere. Now, anyways, uh, let's ignore what I just said and look at the tropical fish. Very beautiful. Also dead. Cod. Call of Duty. Also dead. The Pufferfish. Oh, Spongebob. Dead. Salmon. Salmonella. Dead. Dolphin. Dead. Sea Turtle. Dead. Squid. Mmm. Squid. I mean, dead. Glow Squid. Dead. Guardian. Disgusting and fat and obese and grotesque. A fat cunt. I mean, <clears throat> Elder Guardian? And that is every mob in the game. I was hoping the Warden would have some type of unique vibe. But that man is a simple fucking... Well, he's just a racist. He doesn't like any of us. He thinks he's superior to, well, every mob I just spawned in front of him. Where is he, anyway? All right, Mr. Warden. Oh, there you are. No, not the fucking toad, you stupid bitch. I'm gonna kill you. You get... Die, liberal. I mean, that is terrifying regardless. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope every one of you have a nice day, night, afternoon, and as always, my name is Unbid, and I bid you farewell. Thank you for watching this experimental review, and have a nice day.